Hi, welcome to another video on how do I group data in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 reports. In this video, we will understand how to group data in NAV reports and also how to add group headers and subtotals for every group. At the end of this video, we will understand how to group the simple customer list report country-wise. As you can see, the customer list is grouped on country. Also, there is total balance of customers in each country. For the purpose of this video, I'll be starting with the simple customer list report. To learn how to build a simple customer list report, please watch the video published on MSDN Partner Source or YouTube. The objective of this video is to prepare our data model to make sure all the required data is available in the report designer of NAV. Next, we will group the data and add group totals in Visual Studio Layout Designer. Finally, we will test the report to see the grouping. Let's start with step 1, where we will prepare the required data model in Dynamics NAV. As specified before, I will be starting with simple customer list report. Also, this is how a customer list report looks like. Now, let's modify this report to a grouped report. For that, I have same the same report in another name called customers by country with a different object ID. So, we will start by modifying this report. When I open the report designer, we have many fields from customer table and few global variables to hold the company address in this report. We also have salesperson purchaser name coming in from salesperson purchaser table. We would like to group this customer data on customer's country. So since we want to group this list on customer's country, it is very important to add the customer's country in the data model. We can get the country code of customer from the customer table. We can get the corresponding country name from the country region table. To do this, I need two global variables. I'm just pasting the required global variables here. So we have country rec pointing to the country region table. And we also have country name of type text which will hold the country name. Once the global variables are defined, then we need to write a code to fetch the country name from the country region table. So on, on after get record of customer, I'm pasting the required code. So this code fetches the country name of every customer in this report. Now we will have name of the country filled in in this variable. Let's go ahead and add this country name variable in the data model. I can do that by simply selecting it from the field menu. Now we have all the required data in our report data model and hence we have successfully completed step 1. Now let's go to step 2 where we will alter the layout to have groups. So we will have group headers and footers with subtotals in it. Going back to NAV Report Designer, I will open the layout of this report by clicking on View Layout. So this is the layout of the simple list report and we have to modify this to have grouping that is country-wise. To group the list data, we will have to add a parent group in this table control. So I select this details row, right click on it and select add group and then select the parent group option. So since I know that I want to group this list on country name, so I select the country name from the drop down. I also want to have a group header and group footer in my report. So I choose these two options and click on OK. As you can see, the country name is automatically added in the table control. I can rename this group header name as country. I will 
have to resize this table so that it fits in the report perfectly. So now we have grouped this report on country name and you can also see all the groups in this report under row groups at the bottom. Now to make this report look a little better I'll make few small changes. I will highlight the group header by choosing a background color as well as by selecting bold font for country name. Now let's add a subtotal of customer balance for every country and also have a label stating totals for that particular country at the group footer right here. Let's start with the label. I want label on this text box so I go to expression on that text box. Here I will specify my expression. and click on OK. Also, since I need sum of balance under the balance column, let me go to the expression on this text box and use the aggregate function sum. Let's specify that we need sum of balance elsify here. Since this is a decimal field, I need to specify the format without field. So I go to text box properties. Under number, I choose the customer balance format that comes in from NAV. Let's also highlight the group footer. So we're all set with the design of the layout and we have successfully grouped the customer list country-wise. Now let's save this report and go to the third step where we will test this report. So in the third step we are going to test this report and see how the grouped data in the report looks like. To do that, I choose my newly modified report and click on Run. I choose to preview this report on the request page. As you can see, our customer list is now grouped on country. We have group header as well as group footer for every country. We also have subtotals of balance per country. In the print layout, the report looks like this. So this is how easy it is to group data in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 reports. To summarize, we made sure that all the required data is available in the data model of the report. Then we altered the layout of the report to have group headers as well as group footers with subtotals in it. Finally, we tested the report and we also saw how the data was grouped in our report. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in another episode of How Do I series.